Hello everyone and welcome to the Victorious Planner. My name is Danielle and welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be flipping through my 2020 social media planner. And actually it was my catch-all for the first six months, then turned into my social media planner for the last six months. But you guys, this is my very first happy planner. So I'm so excited. This is also the very first one that I've filled up. Well, mostly filled up. <laughs> so there are a couple blank weeks at the very beginning of the year since I didn't get it until the end of January 2020. Um, I was actually just thinking before this video, I should have decorated those just to have a actual complete planner, <laughs> but at this point I'm probably not going to go back and decorate those. So this is almost my first complete planner, I guess you could say. <laughs> so this is actually the uh, Homebody Classic with a dashboard layout. So this right here is the cover that came like this is the actual front cover and it did come with gold metal discs and halfway through the year I did switch it up I just flipped the covers you know the other way made this one the front and put on the beautiful black metal discs I will be actually changing this back again before I store it uh, to the gold metal discs and put this back as the cover and I'm actually going to take these black metal discs I think and put them on my journaling planner so I'll be doing some <laughs> mixing and matching again but let's go ahead and start looking through this planner and this is such a beautiful planner I love the floral design in it and I think it was just really fun one for my very first one okay so this this is kind of funny uh i decided to use this calendar in the front as a way to put down the movies that my husband and i wanted to see all the you know mo new movies that were supposed to release in 2020 and i was going to keep filling it out as we went well we all know what happened in 2020 so there was maybe a couple movies that we saw at the theater and that's about it so great idea for these calendar pages but i just chose the wrong year i guess <laughs> okay it's fun to see where i started this is my very first currently page ever that one's kind of fun these dividers are really gorgeous too Oh, you guys, <laughs> my very first calendar spread, as you can see, I really didn't do much at all. I marked a couple birthdays. And then here's my blank weeks. Okay, this is my first ever Happy Planner spread. And this is probably my least favorite. <laughs> but no, I do love it because... This just shows where my journey really started. And so that is really fun to see. Um, I wasn't quite sure what to do. I think I was more, which this is not bad. Like I think I was more um, practically planning, which I still do some of that, but I really love to actually use this as a creative outlet now as well. So I love to be more decorative, um, but I just, I just wasn't sure yet. So then we get into my second week. Okay, I'm starting to find a little bit of a groove, a little bit of a theme. <laughs> there we go. This purple is really pretty. So I did just do a, I just filmed anyway, on my flip through of the six months of 2020 in my catch-all planner. And I had said how I don't use a lot of washi, but I've looking back through this, I really think I did at the beginning. And we used to do, I used to do a fun little planning meeting uh, with Monica. You'll hear, me, you'll hear me mention her multiple times in my videos, but I, I also work with her and we would do a planning meeting every week and we'd actually kind of decorate these spreads together. And then of course we all got moved home and have not done that in a very long time. But she is the one that has all of this beautiful, beautiful washi. February. Okay, my second calendar. Starting to add a little bit more. <laughs> Ooh, gold. I like the gold. And then, oh, red. So this was Valentine's Day week. 
purple. Those Dream Seeker stickers are really pretty. There we go. I like this calendar spread. So still keeping it pretty simple, but I did kind of get the whole thing decorated. Um, and it looks like for a while, so when I was going through the first six months of this planner, this was my only planner. So for a while I did track what uh, Instagram posts I was putting up every day. There's a bright colored spread. Ooh, I like this one. So this is actually using the homebody stickers that go right along with this planner. And this is really pretty. St. Patrick's Day week. Got the green. Oh, I like this one. Okay. I love this one because of the palm trees. I, I'm a tropical person. Well, the palm trees and my favorite colors throughout the spread. It's really pretty. April calendar. Again, I'm using the homebody stickers. I think there was a good um, while that I used the homebody stickers thinking, hey, we're all at home. These are perfect. <laughs> More dream seeker stickers. This spread is really pretty too. I think I love these florals. Very colorful rainbow spread. Oh, this one, okay, this one's fun. This one is a lot, maybe one of my most filled spreads in this one anyway, I think. But I think I like it. These florals are also really pretty. More homebody stickers. Oh, that dashboard's fun. I completely redid the whole thing. I like that. All right, May calendar, more homebody stickers. Oh, I like this one. Simple and pretty, the gold and the light pink. Ooh, Dream Seeker stickers. These ones are really pretty. I was not sure I would like these skulls, but I think for me, the beautiful florals catch my attention a little more that the skulls don't bother me as much. June. Fun bright colors, then fun pastel colors. Oh, and this, okay, this might be one of my favorite spreads ever because of this right here. So this is uh, our son Tommy helped me one day and colored these little stickers for me to add in my planner. And that just makes me smile. I love that, <laughs> love that so much. These florals are really fun. I love these ones too. And July, I think we're getting close to when I switch this planner over. Yes, okay, right here, this is my very first spread after I switched this planner to my social media. And it did take me a little while to find a rhythm with this layout, but I really, really love the dashboard layout for social media. I eventually found a good rhythm. It looks like I started to figure it out here just with really using this side of the layout for lists and things, and then using this side for more planning for each specific day, and I love that. My 2021 social media planner is actually a vertical layout, so we'll see if I can find a rhythm with that layout for social media. It's the Teresa Collins vertical planner, and I just couldn't pass up that gorgeous planner. I really like this calendar spread too, uh, with the green leaves going across the top. I like that. Oh, 
So these stickers are from the, the Bloom Box that came out the end of summer. Yeah, so from here on out, I decorate each spread a little bit differently, but I do sort of keep the same rhythm with how I'm laying everything out. I like this dashboard. These stickers are gorgeous. I think, I think these are botanicals stickers as well. September, I tried my hand at some lettering. I got a ways to go with that, but I'd love to try it out. <laughs> I'll be getting practicing, uh, practice in my lettering planner in 2021. So hopefully the practice works for me. Ooh, then we're starting to get into some fall themes here. October Halloween calendar. These stickers are by Monica. Uh, a little bit of Monica is the name of her Etsy shop. You'll start to see a lot of her stickers towards the end of this planner. I will link her information below. Yes, these are hers as well. Love these pumpkin spice stickers. She does have other stickers on her shop too because obviously now we're well past the fall <laughs> season but you may want to consider these for next year. Super cute fall stickers. With this spread, I actually did my first, um, well, the IGTV videos, now reel. I'm like, what are they called? The reels. Um, I did my first planner reel with this spread on Instagram. It's kind of fun. I still have to figure out how the reels work. I'm not, um, not as good with them yet. <laughs> Here's more stickers by a little bit of Monica. Fun, more fun Halloween ones. And here's Halloween week. November. Brought some washi back in for the November calendar. More, a little bit of Monica stickers. I love the apples and the, this wagon. They're really cute. Yep, all these are by a little bit of Monica. And December. December calendar, did the countdown to Christmas. That was really fun. This was also the month this channel hit 100 subscribers and I did my first giveaway this week. That was so much fun. I seriously, that was probably, just doing a giveaway was probably my most fun memory so far in this journey. So I will be doing more of those. It is so fun to spread the love. You'll notice as we get towards the end of the year, my lists get shorter. I have a lot of days that say, no, I didn't post anything. You know, I was getting into the holidays and celebrating. And that is a good thing. All right, so this is, yeah, this was my last weekly spread. Um, even though there were still a few more days in December, I did go ahead and start the next week in my new planner and I what I did with the very last week in this planner so I kind of covered up as you can see because this was the the planner that was for December what, let's see December 28th through um the third I think or however long that week went um but I decided to just cover the whole thing up and I have not filled this out yet, but I need to. I have some notes that I'm going to actually add in here, but I decided to make this kind of a review or recap page of my journey this year with social media and planning and just the things that happened, kind of the highlights. And I thought that would just be really fun to have at the very end of this planner. And we'll probably do it again when I complete my next social media planner. And I used more of the little bloom box stickers. I just stuck with the black and white. I love these florals 
and again I mentioned I do need to get better at my lettering but I am trying to throw that in in different places so I did write you know the Victoria's Planner 2020 review yeah and that'll be good that'll be good to see my progress hopefully getting better at lettering <laughs> all right and then a couple other things that are in the back of this planner so way back in March, March 20th through the 31st, the Happy Planner did a positivity challenge. If you remember, this was just when all of the quarantine stuff was starting. I mean, I think we all thought it was going to be like two weeks, 14 days, something like that. And it was really awesome, though, that they did this challenge to just kind of help us all maintain a positive focus uh, to really actually take the quarantine time and allow it to be a blessing instead of a hindrance and so we just went through a lot of different things um for the 12 days so i created this page to kind of track those days and i'm really glad i did because now i have this to always go back and remember that and then also one of the days i can't remember which one it's somewhere in here but the challenge was to create a page just a page that kind of made you happy, things you love. And this was the page I created. So I love adventure and camping. I love paradise, yes, with those palm trees. <laughs> so that is the page I created. All right, there it is. My very first happy planner. Well, thank you guys so much for flipping through this with me. If you're not already subscribed, I'd love, I would love for you to subscribe to my channel. Give this video a thumbs up and I will talk to you in my next video. Bye.